China, you have to pay attention to you know, turnover is a bit of a reality. And if not turnover, just keeping people in your business requires that you raise the bar, provide them more challenges, move them up as they are ready. So focusing on succession planning is the first thing I did when I came in as a CEO in China. And what became very evident when I looked at it was that there was no Chinese leadership positioned to take over the, you know, the reins or to be in the real senior posts. And that to me was a problem. So the first thing I set sights on was two specific roles that I wanted to very particularly build a Chinese talent base into. And that meant hiring from abroad or outside of the company and then ensuring that below it, I positioned the next layer of growth to come in and take these positions. And it was HR, human resources was the first one. And the second was our, my deputy managing director who's overseeing marketing and sales and is ultimately, you know, hopefully my successor. I wanted to find people who could operate in an international environment. Now, what does that mean? Okay, my company, its parent company is from France. There's a very unique cultural dynamic with French companies. So a Chinese person taking over the reins here that's able to understand that, that's able to fit in a French culture when they have to, that's the talent I was looking for on top of the basic skills and capabilities. So fit. It wasn't just fit in the world of China, but it was fit in the world of representing China globally to their colleagues and uh, the other business leaders. So that was my, my, one of the prime things I was focusing in on. How can they operate outside of China? The reason I was very adamant about bringing in Chinese talent was I firmly believe uh, with the size of the Chinese businesses, the importance it is, uh, represents the international companies, you need somebody in China who knows the fiber, the culture, but at the same time can operate on an international scale. So for me, I did not want to leave China ultimately and leave it in the hands of an international group that could not carry the legacy forward. So I was very adamant about bringing in senior Chinese talent that could you know, take the reins forward, keep building the Chinese business, but at the same time understand how to relate with international companies. So those are two acquisitions that have been absolutely fundamental to our success.